I think we went far enough today. Let's get you home. Hi, I'm Jen Schooler and you're watching The Fan Carpet. We're here this morning at the London Gala of Disney Pixar's The Good Dinosaur to talk to Peter Son and Denise Reem. Really um, going out on these research trips that Denise was like really, when we first started the project, let's go get lost and feel what it's like there out there. And then so once we went into you know the northwest of America, Wyoming and Oregon, nature became such a huge inspiration for us because it was both beautiful and dangerous and, it, and kind of really came alive to us in a new way. And so that was something we really want to honor in the film. And also, we, we love the notion of if, what would happen if the asteroid missed hitting the Earth. That was also sort of a, a, a conceit that allowed us to kind of do whatever we wanted. I do. I have a little girl. She's, she's in here somewhere. Well, she's only four, so she's still learning a lot about all the different animations that are out there. But she is a pretty big fan of everything. I mean, she's, she's loved, she loves like pretty much every day in every um, Disney movie and Toy Story 1, 2, 3. We've got everything and this one I think is going to be a massive hit. My six-year-old brings me here, and uh, I don't really have a favorite yeah, dinosaur as such. I love that. I love Tyrannosaurus Rex and the, you know, the, the dinosaurs you see at the Natural History Museum, but I don't know any of the characters in this film because I've not seen it yet. So um, I'm sure I'll have a favorite one after I've seen it. Oh, I, I think there would be, you know, Velociraptors. We all know those. They used to hunt in packs. They were really quite clever. But of course, if all the dinosaurs were around today, there may be some that we really um, didn't know about that would be surprising in their predatory behaviour. So, you know, we don't know. It would be it would be so good to really travel back in time and meet dinosaurs. If the meteor hadn't hit Earth, would we be having a selfie with dinosaurs? A wonderful animal. I wouldn't be having a selfie with it. I'd probably be riding it. <laughs> riding it, nice. You've got to, haven't you? Selfie, you know, selfies are the thing at the moment, and. You know, to have one with a dinosaur, it would be amazing. So, go, go try. Well, I was just saying, I'm quite partial to the Styracosaur, uh, which actually Pete plays a Styracosaur in the movie, uh, the pet collector. <laughs> and, yeah. your, and yours? Uh, I've really fallen in love with this T Rex in the movie, uh, Butch. And uh, um, um, uh, he is just a proud father and uh, a stoic dude. Yeah. Do you know, George is that nice of a person who likes to hug everything. I think he won't try to hug and be nice to a dinosaur. Even if he tried, I think he'll try to calm it down and be nice to it before he ran away. 90% of people would run away. He wouldn't. He'd go and try to hug it. <laughs> I think if I had a selfie with a dinosaur, it'd probably be with the T-Rex. Yeah. No, I think I'd be sort of standing, looking, looking up to him, maybe. <laughs> probably not. I think they might have eaten us all. Because there'd be quite a lot of them by now, wouldn't there? They'd... They'd be all over the world, they'd have cars and boats. Yeah. They'd be just like us. Oh, I'd run, I'd run as fast as I can, yeah, and hide. And hide, yeah. No, it's really weird to think of that, isn't it? Well, I don't know, when I watched Jurassic World, I was quite um, quite stressed about the fact that we could be living in an environment like that. So I hope, I hope, well, I hope they'd be friendly dinosaurs if we were living here. We probably wouldn't be here if there were dinosaurs on the planet. I gather it's a wee piece, so I'm, I'm going in search of tissues. <laughs> Yeah, it would be great, wouldn't it? Of course, in prehistoric park and being chased by monsters, I travel back in time to meet dinosaurs, so I've got quite a good idea of, of how they would react, or we spoke to paleontologists to find out what we would do. And, and T-Rex, if there were T-Rexes around today, they can't move through forests, so the thing to do if you were ever chased by a T-Rex is to run into the forest and they get, it's very difficult for them. It's a bit like killer whales today. If a whale that they're attacking goes into a forest of seaweed, they're scared to go in there. T-Rex would be the same. So if T-Rexes were around today, as soon as we saw one, we'd have to run into a wood. So they couldn't maneuver. They needed big open spaces to maneuver around. Yeah, I'm a fan of Disney and dinosaurs. I, well, he's a fan of dinosaurs, so I think this is gonna definitely be his favorite movie, Disney movie so far, so. Yeah, I love Pixar movies and, and, and Disney movies. Um, you know, they're tr truly fantastic. Uh, Frozen, of course, you know, I've heard the song a million times from my daughter, but when I went to see the movie, you know, they are so clever. It, it makes you um, feel like there's still magic in the world with a really good Disney movie, and, and hopefully this dinosaur movie will be the same. Yeah. Exactly, and they're, and they're so good at, at doing it, you know, uh, and I can't wait to see this new one. 
it's an incredible family there. You know, like uh, um, you grow to just work with everybody and you see, witness everyone's talents and you see how much they put their hearts into the work and uh, you fall in love with everyone. Seriously. Yeah, I mean, there's so many talented people there. Uh, I always, I mean, I have the best job in the world. Uh, Better than his. <laughs> that's a great question. I mean, even the... the I was going to yeah. say, it's just that everyone's getting better and better. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing to see. Like, this film is really exciting because it doesn't have a lot of uh, dialogue. So we're sort of honoring the roots of anima animation and really uh, doing a lot with pantomime and, and performance without words. Yeah. Yeah. Good movies are good movies, I would say, right? I mean, you know, everyone loves a great story. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I think audiences are much more sophisticated and, and know a lot more about how things are done. But it all comes down to telling a really great story. Yeah, yeah, but we're really, really looking forward to it. I gather it's from the makers of Inside Out as well. So um, that was another cracking film. So I'm sure it'd be a great film. Yeah, it'd be a brilliant film, I'm sure. We just, you know, we've got um, we've got a lot of things with Union J. I uh, can't say too much at the moment, but it's really exciting. We've got a new single coming out very soon. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be an amazing year for two, uh, in 2016 for Union J and for me. So, I'm doing a film about weasels. I love weasels, um, you know, and wolverines as well. So I've never met a wolverine in the wild, so I'm looking forward to doing that. And I'm doing another series on deadly snakes, the Philippines and Mexico and Brazil. So I'll have done 12 of those and met most of the most beautiful venomous snakes on earth. So very excited about that too. We'll, we'll have finished that by next autumn uh, and the Weezers will be finished by the autumn as well. So I've got a busy year in the wild finding snakes and weasels. Coming up for Christmas, I've got some elasticated waistband trousers, too much turkey and a roaring fire. And that is all you need for Christmas. Oh, I think too. I just spend time with the family. It's his second, uh, second Christmas now. So it's going to, you know, it's going to be nice. But I think he realises what presents are and stuff now. So. It's going to be a really exciting Christmas room. Christmas, my um, family are all coming to London. They all live in Lincolnshire, and every year we alternate Christmas. So um, this year it's this year it's London, and um, just a really chilled out, relaxed time. London's lovely at Christmas because it's empty. Lots of people go away, so um, just hanging out with the family and watching yeah, movies probably too. It's all about trying to flip the morning dog story where the boy. I probably will after he's seen this film. I think at the moment he wants um, some kind of car racetrack, but I'm sure it'll all change once he's seen the good dinosaur. I'm sure they once they've seen the movie they're going to want dinosaurs and things my little daughter Ella's six um, but uh, you know who, who knows what they want anything to do with Frozen she still loves Frozen and we're all very excited about Frozen 2 of course that even when you're scared that if you know what you love that you can get through it thanks for watching the fan carpet remember to follow us on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and we'll have more for you next time Whoa. Oh, yeah.